Hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man Willis here. I'm doing a review of AEW All Out. We had All In last week, so we're doing All Out this week in Chicago. And let me say, they did not disappoint at all. A great follow up from last week's pay per view. And actually, it probably was a little bit better than last week's show. But the spectacle of them being in a stadium is what makes that one special. But this one was also special because after dealing with CM Punk and his firing, we wanted to know how the Chicago crowd was going to handle this pay-per-view. And they, they forgot the way they did these matches and as good as all these Boys and girls in the ring did tonight. They just made the fans forget all about Pepsi Field. So, I'm going to give you the review. The first match we had was for the R.A.'s Tag Team Titles. Better Than You, Baby, Adam Cole, and MJF. Versus the Dark Order. Reynolds and Silva. And they... Had a great opening match. They told an interesting story with MJF and his neck. So, they end up winning the match after MJF came back down. After the doctors brought him in the back. But, the story after the match was also interesting too. Because Samoa Joe was having his title match versus Shane Taylor. And... <laughs> My man Samoa Joe puts MJF and they got into a fight before um My man Samoa Joe had his match so that's probably going to be the next fight MJF versus um Samoa Joe so that's going to be a good one Shane Taylor and Samoa Joe was just beating the hell out of each other that whole match but we know Joe was going to win that joint, so we we going to see. Then we had Luchasaurus versus Darby Allen. <laughs> and Darby Allen was getting murdered through that whole match by Luchasaurus. They made Luchasaurus look like a monster in this match, and he is still the champ, even though Christian Cage is still acting like He's the one with the title, even though that's not the case. It's still Luchasaurus' belt. So that was a good match. And one of the highlight matches of the night was Miro versus Powerhouse Hobbs. Man, they were going back and forth, back and forth so much that the (laughs) fans were chanting, (laughs) slap that meat, slap that meat. Every time they hit each other, they were like, me, me, me. That joint was hilarious. But Miro got the win, but his wife showed up. His wife, CJ, showed up. And he was like, you're not real. You're not real. So that's going to be an interesting thing to see with them two. He just didn't believe she was down there. Then we had Chris that like the Versus Ruby Soho. That was a good match too. But the story. With that one is. Soraya tried to help. Ruby win that match. But Tony Storm came from under the ring. And. Caused. um, Ruby Soho to lose the match. I think Tony Storm. Finally then. Lost her rocker. She just then had it. So that was hilarious to see. Another highlight match was Brian Danielson versus Ricky Starks. And they were going back and forth in that strap match. They had no cut cards whatsoever during that whole match. And the crowd was just into it from beginning to end. Yeah, they Rick, Ricky Starks might have lost. But he still proved himself, so... Yeah, uh-huh. Yep. So we have um Yuta and Claudio 
versus Shibata and Kingston. They had a decent tag team match too. And Eddie just couldn't handle that European uppercut at the end. So yeah, they had a good match as well. Everybody had good matches on the show. So, and of course, you know, the best bout machine, Kenny Omega, was fighting to Keshna. And man, they was going back and forth through this whole match. I thought Kenny was going to win, but they did the right move and put put it on to Keshna. And of course, that damn Don Callis kept on. Messing in the match here and there, but it wasn't to the point where it got annoying. And Takeshna still basically went on his own. So <clears throat> then we had Bullet Club Code versus FTR and the Young Bucks. It was kind of shaky in the beginning of that match because some fans tried to start it a CM Punk chant, but mostly. The rest of the crowd shut that down with Young Buck and FTR chance. So after a while, people just forgot about it and just got into the match. So, and the right people won again. Bullet Club Gold. They needed that win. So they might end up beating FTR for them titles sooner or later. Then we had the main event of all people you would never think would be in the main event as bad as a lot of people talk about him. Especially the old farts that still hang on the old school wrestling. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley for the international championship. And even though Cassidy lost, he still looked like a made man at the end of that match. So Moxley basically beat him. And it was like a a over 300 day reign for Orange Cassidy. So... Cassidy still came out as a bed of roses at the end. So this whole pay-per-view was worth it. Just like All In was worth it. And it was just two great pay-per-views back-to-back from each other. So this is Wildman Willis signing off. See you next time.